In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and configure Arista EOS in GNS3. Arista, unlike Cisco, make their operating system freely available. So I'll show you how to download the operating system from within GNS3. Another update is that Arista have announced CEOS, which is essentially EOS running within a Docker container. You can find out more information about this on the Arista website, but notice that you can run Arista EOS in a Docker container in the same way as other applications run within Docker on Linux. See my other videos which I've linked below if you're not sure what Docker is. In those videos, I explain Docker and show you how to download Open vSwitch using Docker within GNS3. When the CEOS software becomes available, I'll demonstrate how to integrate CEOS in GNS3. But for now, we're going to use VEOS, which is a virtual version of EOS within GNS3. Now to integrate Arista, Go to the marketplace on GNS3, select appliances, and search for Arista. The appliance currently available in the GNS3 marketplace is Arista VEOS. So download the template to your local computer. In this example, I'm using GNS3 2.0.0 Release Candidate 1 on a Mac, but the process is very similar if you're using a Windows PC. My Mac has changed the extension to a text file. In this example, I'm gonna change the extension back to GNS3 Appliance. So now in GNS3, we can go to File, Import Appliance. We can select the Arista V EOS Appliance and click Open. There's a bit of information about the Arista software. One thing to note is it's a Linux-based network operating system that uses a familiar industry standard CLI. In other words, if you're used to Cisco, you'll be very comfortable with the Arista CLI because it looks very much the same. The appliance will be available in the multi-layer switch category. The product is VEOS from Arista. The appliance is maintained by the GNS3 team. Architecture is x86 64-bit. KVM is required. In other words, you need to run the GNS3 VM within VMware Workstation, VMware Fusion, or other VMware software. Don't try and run it in VirtualBox. In this example, I'm using VMware Fusion. So I can click Next to continue. We asked to select the server type for the new appliance. In my example, I'm gonna run it on the GNS3 VM. So I'm gonna click Next. I'm told that the GNS3 server requirements are okay, so I'm gonna click Next. Now we are missing files for the installation. We need two files, the VMDK and the ISO file. So I'm gonna select the file and click Download. We're told by GNS3 that we'll be redirected to the Arista website. I'm gonna click OK, and I'm now redirected to the Arista website. So I need to log in. So log in with your credentials. If you don't have an account, register for a free account. And once you've got an account, simply log in. Select Software Download. And in the Downloads, make sure that you download the correct software. So in this example, I need the VEOS Lab 4.7 file. So I'm simply gonna search for the file that I need for GNS3. And this is the file. I need this VMDK file. So I'm gonna download that to my local machine. The second file I need is this file. So a boot VOS 800 ISO. So I'm gonna select this file and download it to my local computer. Just be careful, there are various file names that are very similar to one another. 
make sure that you select the right file as requested by GNS3. So back in GNS3, I can click refresh. And at this point, you can see that the ISO file has downloaded. The VMDK file is still downloading. Got a few seconds left before it's downloaded. So simply wait for the file to download and then click refresh in GNS3. And as you can see here, this version of Arista is ready to be installed. So select that version and click next. We asked, do we want to install this version of Arista VEOS? And the answer is yes. QMU settings can be selected. I'm going to stick with the defaults and I can click next. Here's a summary of the appliance. It's going to have 13 adapters. It requires 2 gig of RAM. KVM is required, so you need to use VMware. Adapter type is E1000. Architecture is x86 64 bit. Console type is going to be Telnet. Click Next. We're told that the login username is admin. There's no password. The appliance is going to be available in the multi layer switch category. I can click Finish. I'm now told that the Arista appliance is installed. So under switches, I now have an Arista switch available. So I'll drag two of them. Connect the Ethernet interfaces. And as always, you can make the diagram pretty. I'm just going to leave it as this basic diagram. Click Start to start up the switches, and I'll open up a console to the switches. As you can see here, it's booting a Linux. So the two switches are now booting up. We simply need to wait for them to boot up. But as you can see, we're booting the VEOS or Lab SWI file. Hope you enjoyed this video. If it was of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.